Hey guys, I just wanted to do a short video today. I was I was making my smoothie and um, I forgot to use my kefir for a while. And I just want to show you that even if you leave this on the top of your of your for, excuse, sorry, it's morning. <laughs> I'm still in my bathroom. <clears throat> um, even if you forget to use this for a while, it's still good. You just smell it, and if it smells to you like, um, it's, it's, it'll be a pleasant, I mean, if you, if you do your own kefir grains, you know what it's supposed to smell like. This will be a little bit more pungent, but it still smells good to me. So, um, I'm just, this has been, I think, on top of my fridge for like two months. No refrigeration. It's milk kefir. I use whole organic milk in this. And then I've got my kefir grains. And I'm going to show you what I do. Um, it's actually going to come out sort of like cheese um, with a little whey in it. Um, but this is fine to drink. I drink this all the time just like this because a lot of times I'll forget. There's a dog here stuck to the lens. Um, <laughs> So, um, in here I have um, a really, really ripe banana, um, frozen blueberries, I have cleavers, dandelion leaves, um, I have a little bit of grass, just any kind of grass, almost every kind of grass is edible. Um, what else do I have? Plantain leaves in there, um, the broadleaf and the other kind, the rib, the rib wart and the, the broadleaf one. Um, sometimes I put, you know, whatever I have out in the garden, I just sort of went out there in my bathrobe and <laughs> picked stuff for my smoothie. So this is, I'm going to show you what it comes out like. <clears throat> and it's really thick, but it, after you put it in your smoothie, you don't even notice anything. See, it's really, those are the kefir grains in there. And a lot of times, it'll even be more like, um, almost like cottage cheese. See, the, look at how many kefir grains I have in there. So, um, I drink this all the time like this, because a lot of times I'll forget that it's up there, and then I'll go, you know, because I'm trying to get back to my eating, better eating habits, because I've been slacking. Um... Those are the grains. I didn't. It didn't really turn out as as um, cottage cheesy as it usually does because that's all the grains. But this, um, I don't get even after you know two months of not drinking kefir. Um, I still don't get any. I don't have any problems um, drinking this stuff. So there's a little bit at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. <coughs> And that just goes right in. And it really, um, it's still good, just as good as anything else. So, um, don't be afraid to just use it. If it smells really awful, like you can't stand it, then don't use it. But I don't even wash my jars. Like, I just put my grains back in. Um, <laughs> I probably need to separate these grains and give some away. But really, that that's not harmful to you at all. It's it's good culture. It's just just like your regular kefir, um, and I still use it. So don't be afraid. And I'm just gonna put my whole milk back in this bottle, stick it back on my fridge, and maybe I'll use it tomorrow. Maybe I won't. But um, this, you know, <laughs> if I don't make any more videos and I'm dead, then you'll know that it wasn't good. But <laughs> sure this will be fine um because I've done it many times before so that's all I wanted to tell you today hope everybody has a great day